Welcome to a new tutorial. Today I want to show you how to make an announcement text that will pop up on the screen. So to do that, just add a trigger. So add actor, add trigger. I will add it right into the front of this file here. Then go into Kismet, do a right click and choose any event you like. So you can combine this with a level loaded event, a player start event, but I will use a trigger, trigger touched event. Now in the trigger touched event, I will choose max trigger count 0, so infinite. We can use this trigger as many times as we like. Then I do another right click, and under new action, voice announcement, you can find play announcement. Now click onto it, and now we have a kismet node in here. So connect the in with the touch from the trigger, and in the play announcement, under the properties UT sequence actor play announcement, you can choose what will pop up or what will show. So the announcement text, type in the text what you like, so for example, press E, and it's the announcement sound, you can choose any sound you like, so yeah, let's go into the content browser and choose one. I will take this one. So you have to choose a sound node wave, not a sound cue, a sound node wave. So click onto it, and then click onto this little green arrow here. And that's it. Now it should work. So rebuild everything or just the passes and try it out. So play from here. Now we touch the trigger. As you can see, nothing happens because we have to choose a game type. So go to word, proper word properties, and then on the game type, choose, let's say, UT deathmatch. And then try it another time. Play from here. Okay, now we move here, press E. Now we press E and the fire is coming. Yeah, thank you for watching and until next time.